This is the Arima project. I just got this Arima 17 foot C pacer and it's gutted. Can't really see what's gutted because it's so gutted. Got, there's terrible pedestal seats in the back here, so those are gone. I'm leaving the ones in the front. The gutted part is all this wood. You can see I primed this wood here, but all the rest is gone. It's like there's like 20 of these jigsaw shaped pieces, just all kinds of shapes. Um, it's teak plywood and it has this uh, kind of like a, God, what do you call it? A melamine, kind of like a picture of wood. What do you call that? A laminate kind of on the front. And uh, some of it looks like this is the problem. It's kind of chipping up. So. But they're structurally fine, so I'm sanding them down. I couldn't, I couldn't sand this one in the boat. You can see I didn't get this, so I had to take it out. There's pieces there. There's pieces there. There's pieces there. There's pieces there. There, there's all kinds of pieces. There's doors here. Um, but yeah, I'll go into uh, what I've been working on, which is just a lot of different projects. I already repowered it with that. Put my uh, old Yamaha 90 on it. Um, it's been rebuilt though. It's been a really good motor to me, so it's better than the Johnson that was came on it. And I'm gonna swap all the good stuff over to this boat and put the bad stuff on my Tide Runner and sell the Tide Runner. Well, not really bad stuff. More like just stuff that's not as good. Basically, I'm gonna make one great boat out of two good boats. That's the new fuse panel. Just has uh, eight gauge wire going back to the battery and then everything comes off here. I, it's funny, I bought this fuse box. I bought that fuse box for my old boat and uh, installed it, but never ran any, like never bothered to like, you know, pull actual power off it. It was just kind of screwed into the bulkhead. And, uh, just never got around to it because everything worked, you know, how that goes. So, anyway, it started fresh on this boat, and uh, that's the old uh, fuse panel. It's inactive. I only have like five fuses on it, so this one's this one's got 12 circuits. I still got a few more to add. Ow. Super simple, then. It only came with one fuel gauge. I had my Yamaha multi-gauge on it. Put my Garmin chart plotter on it. Switch transducers. Um, I'm gonna add a second battery. Came with a brand new battery. I'm gonna add a second battery right next to it with a uh, isolator instead of a switch. So it just charges both batteries, but they're both separate. So pretty excited about that. And I'll, this boat looks a lot worse than it is now because all the it has all these wood panels that are missing but I'm gonna color match them and and uh color match them and paint them up and look at make it look fresh. Um I'm gonna put deck plates there. That's beige, believe it or not. It doesn't it doesn't match exactly, but at least it's the diamond pattern, the same diamond pattern it's on the deck, so I think hopefully when I pressure wash this, it'll get closer to that, you know, not exactly, but closer. But uh, yeah, these Arimas are pretty popular on the West Coast. They still make them today, and they're the exact same haul. So they're super popular for uh, being a really stable boat that you don't need a ton of power. It's got a little flatter bottom. It's a, it's a super wide boat. It's 8 feet, even though it's only 17 feet long. And even their 15 foot models, eight feet wide, so they're wide, kind of short and fat. And they make them up to 22 feet. And that has a nine foot beam. It uh, it's famous for just not needing much power. You know, you can have a 70 horsepower on this fiberglass boat, even though it weighs more than my fire, my tide runner. Um, just the hull shape lets it plane out real slow speed, so it's real fuel efficient economical boat to run and uh, they hold their value around here like kind of too much so I kind of I found this deal on Craigslist 
on a Sunday. And it was just, I wasn't even in the market. But it was just too good to pass up. So I had to figure out how to get all my money out of the cash machine on a Sunday and run over there and just be the first one there. And I was. And the owner was real cool. He gave me uh, downriggers. There's them out there. I'll show you all the stuff that came with it. Just a ton of fishing gear. Just, and he made me take it. Gas tank there. Gave me this kicker. A Johnson 9.9. It's brand new. Just about. I mean, not... Not year wise, but it's in mint condition. Looks like it was never ran. It's got the instruction book. I mean, it's so clean. There's my old uh, Everard 6. I'm going to sell now. He gave me just so much stuff. Like, this boat was just kitted out with fishing gear everywhere. Pretty good stuff. I mean, it came with. Flare gun, I mean, that's 50 bucks. Not expired flares, they're just like random fishing stuff like lead to make weights. On and on and on, just it gave me a halibut spear, halibut weights, uh, that downrigger I mentioned, ton of good line, extra, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff in here that I don't want to dig it all out now ton of flares all the stuff that like you don't think it's a big deal and then you go get your boat and go go buy it and drop three hundred dollars you know on stuff this guy was a big fish look at this gaff man this is a serious gaff <laughs> that's a nasty little thing um boat toolbox is full of, like stainless steel spark plugs and like a bunch of tools and wire strippers that I didn't really think we're part of a boat deal, but hey, I'll take them. And then he gave me a full canvas with a zip back and windows that aren't in the best shape. Kind of different from most of the Rimas. It's a uh, C Pacer model. And they have other ones called C Chasers. And the, the thing that's a lot different about this is it's got an open bow. And it's got a, it's got a cover that snaps around this so you can fully enclose this and it'll be sloped so if you want to go in rough weather put the cover on and there's a door that shuts there too um, this is the bimini folded down but yeah so even though to get this in the garage I gotta slam it down but you can see how tall the windshield is so it's pretty you know it's 6'2 in here so I can stand up behind the windshield which I like but, um, see the hull shape Kind of flat towards the bottom for the back, I mean, but it's got a decent V. They all have an anchor roller standard. Like I like it because it's got a full fiberglass cap with non-skid rails. I think I'm going to break this bow rail and have make give it a gap so I can beach it and get off the boat. These are the pieces that I'd say it's missing right now. That covers the fuel tank, this covers the kicker mount, the other one over there covers the battery. That's part of a, the compartment in there for the porta potty. There's actually room for a porta potty in a 17 foot boat. It's kind of weird. And you can see there's the jigsaw puzzle here. All these pieces, there were, there were wood like this. This is after it's sanded. I don't have, oh, there we go. So that's, that's the nice looking wood. Like that's the uh, laminate isn't. I think it's the wrong word, lame. I don't know. It's like the fake wood coating. I'm just gonna top this plywood. Anyway, this looks good, but a lot of it was kind of starting to kind of go. So, making it all white. They, they still make this hull, but in 94, they started making all the stuff they made into starboard, you know, that white plastic stuff. So, I could order a kit from the company, but I don't really have the cash right now. So, I'm just gonna paint it to match so yeah anyway I'll keep updating you guys on the progress this is a multi-day you know a couple weeks it's gonna take I think time for the test
Just snag fit. Sweet. So now these guys get sanded, primed, painted. <laughs> 